First at five, a 14-year-old girl from Washington State is safe tonight after she was reported missing for nearly a month and found in a registered sex offender's home near South Haven. 30-year-old Keith Frierkson is facing nine felony charges, including criminal sexual conduct. Those do not include the criminal charges he could face in Washington State. Records show that he was added to the sex offender registry list following child porn convictions in Orlando, Florida, seven years ago. You say David Horak joins us live from South Haven to continue our coverage tonight. David? Sue and Brian, that 14 year old girl, is heading back home with her mom to Washington State, where she was first reported as a runaway back in early January. Now, we chose not to publicly name her or her mother, who told reporters at the podium today that she is grateful for the officers who found her daughter. The past three weeks have been nothing short of nightmare and one I hope no other parents have to experience. A nightmare that detectives say began several months earlier on an undisclosed social media platform that has since been taken down. But the strange man on the other end, 2,200 miles away, was Keith Frierkson, a registered sex offender in the state of Michigan. The victim got on a particular chat platform and the suspect made his initial contact with her there. And that's when the grooming started. Uh, Washington began an investigation. Police and Frickson knew the girl was 14 and gave her money and other gifts before ultimately convincing her to have him pick her up and drive the 2,200 miles back to Michigan. Officers eventually tracked him back to his home near South Haven, where they found the 14-year-old girl safe and arrested him. The suspect immediately said she was there to the detectives that was talking to him. However, once they read Miranda, he lawyered up right away and wouldn't speak anymore. The girl told officers Frierkson brought her housing, a cell phone, clothing, food, and marijuana on multiple occasions while the two had multiple sexual encounters at his home. By God's grace, this victim was able to be united with her family alive and able to recover from what she went through over these past three weeks. Not every victim can say that nor walk away from something like this alive. Sitting over in the county jail, can you tell me your name, please? In court Friday, the judge denied both bond and Frierkson's request to postpone the arraignment due to his father being in the process of hiring an attorney. I um, believe in this matter that um, uh, the defendant is an extreme risk to society. Uh, this court believes that uh, his right to travel, he would be a flight risk to leave the state, uh, and the, there's great evidence towards his guilt. Ferguson's next court appearance is scheduled for February 14th. If convicted on those charges, he'll spend the rest of his life in prison. Live in South Haven, David Horak, News 8.